So let's type in anxiety and we're going to do that as a search term. And then what we're going to see is that pops up right down here and we are going to be able to compare that to depression because um, maybe there's going to be um, a difference there. Now, I actually haven't looked at this um, yet, but here we can see over time um, the search term. So we see that depression was really a lot bigger in 2000s, early 2000s. Um, and it looks like anxiety has been on the rise as a search term here. Um, also, some things that we might note is that um, there's certain dips. And so like June, depression tends to dip. Let's see if in past years, June dipped again, July, June. So we see a dip in June. So if you're writing an article about depression, you um, might want to not do it in June. Uh, whereas anxiety, we see that it starts to go up in February, March. Um, they actually are pretty similar in regards to one another, but it looks like they're going to be kind of about the same pretty soon. Um, so say you also uh, wanted to have something else, you could just add extra terms here. Um, now let's go down. You can also look at where uh, it's kind of most searched, so by region. So anxiety, we see that Australia, it's actually searched more than the United States. Um, depression, it's also Australia more. Um, and then you can even go into city, region, all sorts of other things. You can view changes over time. A lot of functions to mess around with here. And then at the bottom here, you can see related searches. This is really good if you want to have a little bit longer tail keywords. So anxiety symptoms, anxiety disorder, depression, anxiety attack. Those would all be search terms that you would want to focus on in your blog posts. The other way that you can quickly find out what, so say you landed on anxiety. Yep, I want to do anxiety. I'm not sure. I want some ideas. So you could just type in anxiety and Google is going to automatically show you what are the top other things that people are searching for. If they're searching for anxiety, you could write about anxiety meaning, anxiety definition, anxiety disorder. So those are two super quick ways that you can figure out what keywords you want to write about. Um, and then the last thing, let's say we went into anxiety, is to look at what the top people are writing about. And so you might want to look at WebMD, health, um, NIMH, understanding the facts. Um, so this is um, kind of the top things that people are talking about in regards to anxiety. You might be able to glean some different ideas. Obviously, don't rip out, uh, don't rip off their work. Um, but what you do want to do is, you know, get some ideas as to how they're writing about it. So look at the top two or three to see how they're writing. Hope that helps you get your blogging and your keywords going well. Have an awesome day. You guys rock.